feedback with any computer, or do you have to have certain software? So tech, the, the haptic feedback is um, is not a, a a desktop type of thing. It's actually it's not even a laptop kind of thing. It's a tablet. Um, actually, no, most tablets don't even have it. It's a cell phone type of thing. Okay, and they're using it in smaller devices like cell phones. Um, especially Android is using them and uh, using this particular feature. So it gives you uh, a physical reaction. So sometimes what, what ends up happening is that the phone vibrates so that you're, when you're pushing or when you're touching, a, let's say, a letter on a keyboard, you have kind of the experience of pressing a button, uh, right? Because your phone is moving underneath your finger. So there's a little, there's a, the, it gives you a physical experience to match that whereas with other tablet type devices like like the Apple products you don't get that. Do, do they have nothing that's talking or pressing the button and you can hear what you're pressing? Yeah. It, it talks it can talk simultaneously. Okay. Uh, but people with and without vision impairments both use the haptic feedback because they find it it it, it gives them a different user experience and that's why they they've been including it, right? Um, so talking, that's, that's another way of receiving information from a computer, yes? Yeah. Right? If you're using a screen reader, you get information by listening to what's going on on the screen. Um, and then finally, oh, I have another, I have my trusty little braille keyboard back up on the screen, but if you look at the bottom here, you'll see a line of pins that um, are called or are referenced to as a braille display, right? And this, so there's braille keyboard, which gives you, which lets you type something and put it toward or talk to the computer, yeah? And then the display is a way of the computer talking back to you without you necessarily having to use speech technology. So these pins are moving devices or moving, ele they're moving elements to this device. And um, each cell has six pins, obviously, and they rise and fall to simulate Braille characters. And as you're moving, um, as you're scrolling through the different elements of your screen, this display changes to, to reflect that, yeah? So there, these are a lot of different ways of experiencing what's going on with your computer. So most of the stuff that we've talked about here, like the keyboard and the screen and your computer itself and the mouse, what, are, what do we call that? I mean, we call it the computer, but what do we call it? Like, what's the general term for that? Anybody kind of? Well, what's the question again? The like, all the stuff that we've just been talking about, like the, the monitor and the keyboard and the... In the, some of them are input devices, some of them are output devices. What else? Starts with an H. It's H. Technology. Well, yeah, it's computer technology, but I'm looking for a specific word. That means everything? Like Give us an hour hardware. and we'll get it. Yeah. Hardware. Thank you. It's the word. Yes. That's actually the word. <laughs> See? Yes. It's hardware. Right? This is hardware. Why is it called hardware? Because it has physical form. We touch it, you can interact with it, it's made of something, right? Even if I take my computer apart, there's physical things inside of it that I can touch. Even if I have these little flash drives, these are physical, hard little devices. So we call them hardware. Um, and which is the, in uh, relation to what other type of computer related terminology. Software. 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 Awesome. Yeah. That moves me into the next section, right? Mediumware? So, what? Mediumware? Medium. <laughs> so, so that's 